Hi everyone, my name is Mark and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I created this, a 3D printed Arkham Knight cowl. Enjoy. The 3D files to create this build were purchased on Etsy from Products of Design. These are quality files and I would recommend them to anyone who is wanting to print a wearable Batman cowl. You can check out the Products of Design page on Etsy by clicking in the link in the description below. They also have many other 3D files of cosplay items and costumes available for purchase. To get the look of a realistic cowl, Rust-Oleum's 2X Ultra Cover Primer, Rust-Oleum's Metallic Paint, and Rust-Oleum's Clear Coat were used. All of these can be purchased at your local hardware store or on Amazon. Feel free to get creative with the different brands and colors. I decided on these specific products because I liked the effect they gave me on my final design. After purchasing the 3D files, I loaded them into Kira to get ready for printing. I have a smaller sized head, so I actually printed the cowl at 90% of its original file size. I used Kira to splice and orientate the files and loaded them onto an SD card to print. The printed parts actually ended up coming out a bit smaller than I had hoped, resulting in a very tight fit on my head. Although this makes the mask look good when I'm wearing it, it makes it very difficult to take on and off. To resolve this issue, I decided to place magnets on the upper jaw to allow more flexibility when taking on and off the mask. If you are willing to take some extra time and material to experiment with what size best fits your head, you may not have to install these magnets as I did. However, I must say that regardless of the fit, it makes taking the cowl on and off a whole lot easier. These small magnets I used can be purchased on Amazon. They have a centering effect that allows them to snap to the same place every time they clasp. They have been a very helpful tool throughout this entire build. I'll have a link in the description below if you're interested in purchasing them. So this cowl is actually already assembled because I decided I wanted to make this video after I had completed it. I didn't feel like wasting the filament or the time to print a whole new cowl so I just decided to use this as a prop for this video and explain how I put it together. With that being said, this cowl was printed in five separate parts. The right jaw, the left jaw, the back, the ears, and then the front. After being printed, each part was sanded with 60 grit sandpaper and primed. After being primed, the parts were sanded again with 240 grit sandpaper and then PLA soldered together. After being soldered, the whole cowl was primed once again, followed by painting and then a clear coat. You can see that this specific Arkham Knight cowl design has a few sections missing from the side of the helmet. I wanted these to be covered up, so I used some craft foam to cover the sections. I painted the foam in the same way as the rest of the helmet, so it appears to blend seamlessly. After applying paint and clear coat, I added some craft foam to the inside of the helmet for a bit of added comfort and stability. As I move a bit closer, you can also see the soldering welds inside the helmet. To do this, the pieces were placed into the correct position and masking tape was used to hold each piece together while the soldering iron melted the pieces into place. Overall, I think this cowl turned out really well. This is just the first piece of the overall build and I'm very excited to keep developing and experimenting with the rest of the suit. Well, that's it for this build. If you liked what you saw, please give my video a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more content. Until next time.